Good morning! It's starting to snow here in Maine and I wasn't planning to do anything for a video because I know everybody's going to be super busy tonight getting ready for tomorrow for Thanksgiving. We're not having <coughs> excuse me, Thanksgiving tomorrow, but I am going to be gifting out some mincemeat pies, handheld pies. My son has come to hunt this morning, so I'm going to send them down to his grandfather. So I thought maybe I'd make these up and you'd like to see. These are going to be easy. This is the mincemeat that I had showed earlier that I'd be making something with. And I bought a store crust pie, um, pie crust. And I have my new molds that came in. I don't particularly like them. They're three different sizes. They, to me, they don't seal as well. But we'll see. They work. The other big one that I have, the Norpro, I think it is, works super great. Um, I think I'm only going to make them this size because my dad is a diabetic <clears throat> and he watches his diet very, very closely. So what's everybody doing for Thanksgiving? We, um, we're not doing anything. We canceled this year and we'll have a big meal and hopefully a family get together around Christmas. Um, until things kind of calm down here. And I gotta move Maggie back a little. Come on, Maggie, we gotta move back a little. You can't be jumping on Mama. No, you can't jump on Mama. Maggie's jumping on Mama. Grab my rolling pin here. And I'll bring you down and show you what's going on. I got my Pioneer Woman um, rolling pin. She didn't endorse it, she didn't, uh, I bought it myself. So come on down and we'll see what's going on. Okay, what I have here is a cutting board. I didn't wanna draw, get my big wooden one out. Put a little flour on, on the bottom. Then you take this pre-made pie crust and then we're just gonna roll it out just a little bit, just like this. I may make another kind because I have another roll in there, but I'm not sure. And if I do, I'll add it to the pitches um, after at the end of this video. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's free. All you got to do is hit that button because you never know what's going to be on my videos. Share my videos. Here we go. You put everything in here and crimp it. This is how you cut it. So you want to put it over there. You want to cut the ring out. You can make empanadas. You can make um, pasties. You can make so many things with these. Let's see how far here we can go over. Hoping to get one more out of it. We came close on that one, didn't we? Hey, it is what it is. Oh, my girl's being good. She's playing with her pickle over there. So what are your plans for Thanksgiving? Are you going anywhere? This is the first year I've not hosted the Thanksgiving or gone somewhere. So I'm feeling a little lost. Okay, we're just going to take this up like this. Just like this. And we're going to put, put the dough here off to the side. I think I'll give us a little more light. I bought a, uh, a new tripod with a light, but I just can't seem to get the lighting right for some reason. Play around with it. I found last time I sprayed it, but I'm just going to flower a little and see if that works a little better. I'm not sure. Because it was sticking in here in my other one. It never stuck at all. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick the round right in there just like this. Then you're gonna take the mincemeat. And I got my Grammy spoon. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so happy. My dad said she made about two pies of mincemeat at Thanksgiving time. Everybody loved her mincemeat, but it wasn't store bought and she made it from scratch. He said he could remember her knowing a good 15 pies 
but I remember her doing at least 20 to 25. So, then you wanna take it like this and you wanna just crimp it up. Push on it. Just like that. See the teeth? It's like jaws, doesn't it? And that's what crimps it. And then you open it up and you carefully take it out. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? Then I'm gonna put it over here. I don't know if you can see the tray. I'm running out of space here. And we're just gonna put it on the tray. I don't have a real big kitchen. And let's do another one. Just like this. Smells really good. I think I'm gonna have some left over, so maybe I'll make a little pie and send it along as well. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it right up. Just like that. I like to push on it, get it good on the edges. There you go. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to bring you back and show you what's going on next. Okay, right now I just took an egg and I just kind of whipped it up a little. And we're going to do an egg wash on these. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do another one or not. Um, I don't know. Another variety. Just haven't made up my mind yet. You know, Maniac Grammy, she never knows. And if I do, I'll be doing it on a different, in a whole different batch. But as of now, you want your um, stove set at 375. And you want to cook these for 20 minutes. They'll be nice and golden brown. Ready to go. My stove's not ready. So I'll bring you back when they're all done. And there's my girl down there laying this morning. She loves to be right by me. But I caught her chewing on the leg of my little stand over there, my little antique stand. And she's trying to go to sleep right now. But I've got another sweater on her. It's a little big and I put a harness because she's out, outgrowing both of the others. I just wanted to show you a little quick um, picture of Miss Maggie May. Okay, I have decided to make this a Jello no bake, and what I'm going to use is a pie crust, bottom pie crust, and it says it calls for two and a half cups of pudding mix. Now we're not going to use the graham cracker, so I'm going to keep it in here and use it at another date. This is the graham cracker crust. This is the jello mix. And then it says you put the jello mix in the bowl. This looks like graham cracker. No, well, it says jello. Okay. I'm double checking here. Yep. Okay, I've changed my mind. I am going to make this into a little pie. Um, I've got the crust here, and you need two tablespoons of sugar and five tablespoons of margarine or butter melted, and you whip this right up. So now that I've changed my mind, I'll be back. Okay, I got my girl outside. I got the two tablespoons of sugar and... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm using stevia. And um, here is the butter. I'm just gonna pour that right in. Just like that. I'm just gonna use this pan to mix it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you know me, I am always changing gears. Just kind of mix it like this a little. 
and I'm just going to put it in the pan and mix it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still got this sinus infection that wants to hold on a little while longer. <clears throat> Every time I think I'm getting over it, bam, it's back. There. I think I'm going to use my Grammy spoon. It's snowing pretty good out there right now. And we're just going to go like this. It's all melted up. Get everything incorporated. And I'll bring you back when I get that done. Okay, I've got this all pushed up on the sides as far as I dare to go. I'd like to see it a little bit higher, but hey, it is what it is. And look, it's already setting up already. That's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. Real nice that I got to use my Grammys pie plate too. Okay. So there you have it. It goes in the refrigerator and we will have this tomorrow, Ray and I. Um, he'll have, we'll have very small pieces and if somebody shows up, we'll have a little bit of dessert because we weren't planning on doing anything and we're just planning on, um, baking a chicken that we grew here at the farm. Nothing special, maybe rice, maybe potatoes, a little squash and that's it. So, um, I've got one more thing to show you, then we'll be back. Okay, this is what I've done just within a couple of hours plus something else. Here I decided to make apple turnovers with a pre-crust that you buy in the store. Didn't that come out nice? And now this is a Jell-O no-bake pumpkin pie with a graham crust. And I used my grandmother's pie plate. And another crust that was... Um, home um, bought in the store. This is mincemeat that's going to be gifted to my father and my son's here hunting. He'll take that down. And I have one more thing to show you here. Just working on is I am going to make a soup and I've got hamburg and I've, I've leftover hamburg. This is for a leftover meal and I've got celery from the garden. I got carrots from the garden, and I have onions from the garden, and I've put in a dry, um, some dry uh, gravy mix, and now I'm going to add water or some broth, and this is going to be our supper tonight, and we also have cauliflower in there. So, as you can see, within two hours, I put a meal together, leftover hamburg, celery from the garden, Carrots from the garden. I don't want to keep picking through, but all stuff left from our garden. And as you can see, you can hear Maggie Mae. She's starting to have a little meltdown. And um, I just want to say, let me bring this up. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating because we're not because of the bad virus and where my children work. My grown children, there's a lot of it there. And Ray works with the public and he has COPD and emphysema. So we have to be very, very careful and he's got to be very, very careful. So I hope you enjoyed this throw together, two hour. See what I can do? You never know what's going to be on my videos. Have a great day. God bless. And have a happy Thanksgiving from our home to yours. Bye now.